All right, guys, before we get into the video, let's talk about foottrading.co.uk. Every single method you see in my videos can be found over on the website with buying and selling prices for almost every single card on the game. £10 a month gets you access to tier one buying prices. That's icons, special cards, silvers, and Thursday flips. For £15 a month, you get access to tier two. That gives you live filters, gold chem styles, UCL cards, and our amazing area of fluctuations where the market is continually monitored for highs and lows. You guys are then notified when to buy low and buy and sell high, basically a really easy way to make coins. We've recently introduced a tier three, thanks to you guys asking for us to develop a bot, basically. We came up with a program and what it does is it pings you every single minute, pretty much. I think it's every three minutes. You will get pings telling you when cards are low and what to sell those cards for. I'm gonna show you an example of that now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the area of the Discord for tier three users. As you can see, it is pinging you guys with the current price of these cards and the live target sell price. You have to cross-reference that with what the sell price has been recently and use some of your own market knowledge, but this runs 24 hours a day to make sure you guys are getting continual deals that you can keep making coins from. The legitimate way, a new ping's just come up right there for new cards that you can go out right now, buy and sell. So check it out, get involved, foottrading.co.uk. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But this is a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. Um, I just want to say, firstly, apologies for the lack of streams this week. Uh, you guys know that I was taken ill on Sunday um, and I've been struggling a little bit since then uh, at the moment where my chest is quite bad as well. As I'm breathing, it's hurting to breathe, so it's making it very difficult to talk in too much detail for too long so just to let you know that's what the situation is but i will try and be live as much as i can be while i'm recovering um over the next few days um if i possibly can that's that's what it is remember you also get three videos in the day, day on this channel the evening upload at the moment we're trading to r9 moments we're up towards a five million coin mark on that one trying to make basically a few million each week so we can get him bought he rarely pops up on the market anyway so it is what it is but um we will buy him we will have him eventually it's gonna happen but like I said, this is a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. And basically, in the space of a week, we made about 1.4 million coins. And I'm just going to quickly switch this over. I'm going to build a squad. The actual squad. This is our actual team. Uh, basically, we did this in, I think, six days in total. So I'm bloody proud of that. Marcus Alonso has been given his upgrade. And he looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm so glad I did this card. A brilliant box-to-box -box midfielder for basically the rest of this game, ideally. Uh, but obviously, yesterday we bought Moments Are In. We bought Mount, we bought Shaw, the rest of this is first owner, um, untradeable. Um, and basically, today is all about Weekend League. We're going to be submitting our, uh, well, I guess, submitting our entry for week Weekend League now. We'll do that right now. Foot Champions, um, qualification process is here. And we're going to submit it, and we are in. We are in Weekend League for this weekend. So you guys will see some Weekend League gameplay as part of this video. I'll also be trying to complete some League SBCs, um, like different packs of League SBCs for you guys, so you can see the progress on that. And on top of that, I'll be looking to trade... Mainly with silvers at the moment, because my coin total is now down at 45k. Um, but I'll be using this team for Weekend League, trading over the weekend, then selling this team off at the end of Weekend League to give us loads of coins to work with for next week. So we're going to get into it right now. I think we'll start off with some Foot for Foot Champions gameplay, and then we'll see what we do in terms of packs and all that sort of awesome stuff later on. I will see you then. So, first game, first win, 3-1. Uh, this guy was dirty as anything. And everything about the game is why I don't like foot champs. He just sat back one depth. I dominated him all game, but just to keep it kept making ridiculous saves as they always do. But an easy win for our first game. So, 1-0, we keep moving. Genuinely sick of this being a thing. So he just quits out of the game because he realises he's probably not going to win because I'm all over him. And he goes and quits out of the game straight away. It's infuriating EA. Fix this problem. I should get the win for that. Genuinely, I should get the win for that. Anyway, still one to know. We keep going. Oh, 
All right, second win in a row. Two and zero we are. I'm so glad we won that game because he was toxic AF, that guy. Like, scored the goal. Maybe watch the replay. You could tell he was toxic. I think he paused the game like five or six times. Like, it was obviously exaggerating. I think he put full, paused it three times. But he's what made you sit for the whole thing. Maybe sit for like half time for ages. But that's 2 0. Not bad at all. I'll keep going. I'll bring it back. All right, so third guy, Rage Critter 1 0. I don't know why he's Rage Critter 1 0. I was all over him, but I don't know why he's Rage Critter 1 0. He didn't have that great of a team, bless him, but. Again, I'll take it. 3-0 for the first three games of the, of the weekend. I think is good. 14 more wins needed uh, for goal two. So that's pretty decent. So what I'll probably do now is play out some games and whatnot. Let, let you know where we're at. You've seen some of the gameplay now. Uh, to pre-warn you, if you're watching this on Saturday morning, you've not started your gameplay yet, be warned. The servers are heavy, heavy, heavy. So yeah, I'll be right back and let you know where we're at. All right, guys. So halfway through the games for today, basically, my games for today anyway, I just got absolutely hammered 5-1 by this guy here. The frustrating thing for me with this game is when he goes 2-1 up, genuinely the goal is absolutely pathetic. I tackled him, tackled him two, three, four times. Eventually I tackled him and bounced to Eto, and he's a fine top corner. He had like a ridiculous team, but fair play to him. He was a better player without a doubt. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely sick of in the gameplay this year. Just the random deflections, the random crap that comes with this game. It's not good enough. And the other thing that's frustrating me, and I do it myself, we all have to do it, is the fullback at centre-back meta. Now, I could choose to it here, so no no issue that guy doing it. But the fullback and centre-back meta shouldn't be a thing. Um, and EA should have fixed it during this game. They should have made it that if players were put into positions like that, then they were crucified for, for rating and for, for ability. So a minus 10 on everything, basically. It shouldn't be the case that you're able just to play fullbacks wherever you want to play them on the back line. It, is, it isn't good enough. But that's I can go and do that myself right now. So no dig at that guy at all for doing it. It's just it's, it's just so, it's so boring. Even on my main account when I do it, we're both just basically pacing back with right backs and left backs. It's not good enough for me. Though. But four and one, I'm happy with it. Four and one so far for the first half of our game's done. Uh, I'm going to go away now and see if there's any league SBCs we can do uh, before the Premier League tots go out of packs. If there's any league SBCs we can do, I'll spend a bit of coin and we'll finish those packs off and see what we can do. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so yeah, then we'll probably have to edit this down. There are some silver packs here. We've got a 50k pack, a 45k pack. I'm fully not expecting to pack anything incredible. Um, but I thought I'd hold my pack for La Liga Santander, because why not? Um, it makes sense to. Um, but we are, like I say, we're trying to build up. and get this stuff here now, because we've got enough contracts. And we're trying to build up um, League SBC. And bit by bit by bit, we are getting there, which is quite nice. Uh, Jumbo silver pack. Again, I'm going to skip it unless it's only like, unless by some miracle it ends up being a walkout. But it's not going to be. Um, we'll skip them and go from there. But fingers crossed, throughout this week, we can try and pack ourselves on them. That is a fantastic pull, because he's an 8,000 coin right back. Um, we'll keep him, mostly because we need it for League SBC. But an 8,000 coin right back is brilliant. We don't mind that whatsoever. Yellen might not need to edit this down. It all depends on how much... We've got three silver packs as well. That's a dub. I keep getting three packs at the moment in, in packs, which is pretty decent. Um, silver pack again. We'll get that opened up. Um, but that, that, that team is looking absolutely sensational. And that Isak for a free card... Going to be very difficult to link. I, I'm under no illusions in that sense. It's going to be very, very difficult to link that card. But genuinely, for a free card, that is absolutely fantastic content for me. Eh? And this is more what we need to see. I don't get it, though. Why the Premier League was so bad and the Liga was so strong, it makes no sense to me. And it, to me, the only way you can explain that is that they're trying to rinse people for their money. Um, I encourage you to open up packs as, and when, as you go. We'll pop him up there. Um, so we do have 14 packs left. We've got 13 of the gold packs. Packs have got gold cards in them. Um, and all this does, like I say, is that for League SPC grind, this will fill up other teams. And we'll keep grinding it and grinding it and grinding it. I will next episode give you a, a shout out to where we're at in terms of the cards themselves. So if you go and hit another really expensive silver in a moveset set from, uh, from uh, Sheffield United. So 15k packs here, 245k to 50k or 35k. We'll start with the Electron Players pack for the packs that contain gold players. And again, I'm, I'm, I, it's very unlikely you're going to pack anything good. But let's not forget on the main account, we pack Road to the Final Hazard from an Electron pack. So... I always keep myself a little bit engaged with the fact that you've got a chance of packing something from any pack, really. If you lucks in, you lucks in. Um, Premier election, prime election, small prime election, small prime election. So a mixed player pack here. I'll open this up. The best time to open these packs, I, I maintain that at 6pm, when this when this tots first drops, the pack weight's always really high. So it's the best time to do it, in my opinion. We'll send that to club. Is Henrik tradable? Be good if he was. He's not. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. So he can go down there. Prime gold, rare gold, jumbo pin gold. We'll do the small prime electrum, so we'll do these. Get these ones opened up. Again, we've packed a, a, quite a few walkouts from these, these packs this year so far, so it's not too bad. The thing is, you've got the um, the MBS. Every time I think I've packed something half decent, it ends up being an MBS player. Like I saw, I saw a, what was it, was it Brazilian the other day? I can't remember, we packed two of the same one. I was like, oh, it could be Edison. 
And even though this is not expensive, it would be fine for fodder. Um, but it ended up being the other guy from the MBS. So skip this. Neto in there's not bad. Rafinha and Kabak, if either of you could be tradable, that'd be great because we could sell you for profit. Kabak, you're not. That's annoying. Um, right, so we have nine packs left. We'll go 15k pack now. Why not? Take up the 15k pack and see what we can get from it. No ball from that either. This is not nice so far. This has not been good. We'll get rid of the contracts here. Tradable 15k from League SPC. I don't mind that at all. These packs are decent in terms of value. We'll keep that pop wood up there. All Premier League cards right now are selling for a lot. Be mindful of that when you're getting them in packs. Right, so we've got Premium Electrum for the next two. Because why not? Two Premium Electrums to go. So the first one does finally give us our first board, which is nice. Hopefully high rated. Nope, Hideki is it going to be. That's not really ideal. I don't think I've got him though, so that's fine. We haven't got him, so that's alright. Huangki Chan, are you tradable? You're not. That's sad. Next Premium Electrum pack. And we just we were just scratching the surface of League SBC at the moment. Really just scratching the surface. Um, we've got a lot of teams that are like four or five away. Four or five tip players in there. We can start thinking about completing in the next few days. Um, so we've got Brighton player in there as well, which is nice. Rincon. Dean Gherkin. Nope. They can go there. So we have six packs left. We'll do the Prime Mix, then the Prime Electrum. And then we'll work our way up value-wise with the other packs that we've got left over. And you never know. If our luck is in, it would be great to hit ourselves a league, a La Liga tots. It'd be incredible. We've not really hit that big, big tots yet. That's a fantastic pull, though. Lee's left back that's extinct on the market. We'd love to see that. Zahavi is tradable, which is good. So the final one, the Prime Electrum of these packs, and then we're in to the bigger packs. Again, it's not been the most incredible in terms of fodder, fodder and stuff like that, but in terms of silvers and expensive League SBC cards, it's been very, very good. So we'll send that to club. Trimmer was tradable, which is good. So four packs left. We'll go Mega Pack, then the 245Ks, and then the 50K. Again, all of these just from grinding the game this week for League SBC method. Mega Pack provides us with a UCL card. They get excited for me at the end, but it couldn't be. It's going to be... Who was that? Danilo Pereira. I don't mind that. 82 rated um, Champions League cards isn't bad at all. So we'll get rid of that. We'll keep the contracts that are untradeable. Keep the Hawk and the Hunter. Cristante, do you fancy being tradable? You don't. Souza, do you fancy being tradable? You don't. Trimble, I know you're not tradable because we've got one of you already. So we'll send those two down there. Gorps on out to club and get with that. So, 245Ks and a 50K. Raphael Varane would be ridiculous as well. That card at 91 pace on centre back. It is, a, it is a walkout, but it's just an informed walkout. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be right mid. Who is that? Ferran Torres. Do I already have Ferran Torres? Because I feel like I already have Ferran Torres. I do. And Sterling in that pack. That's an incredible pack. But I've got a find the pace for Ferran Torres now. I'm tempted to look at that Rodrigo car potentially. So I'll be right back and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, so this is where I put Ferran Torres because there isn't really anywhere else I can put him that requires a team of the week that I care about, in all honesty. Uh, so all this stuff here is going to be put into um, this Rodrigo card. I decided to, to go and do that Rodrigo card because I feel like it's a, a good option in terms of squad building in the long term. So we get 25k pack from that. Um, we will send him to club, Mr. Ferran Torres. Off he goes. Um, and Sterling obviously went from that League SPC grind into that pack, so that's fine by me. Um, and it's just the 84 rate squad for Rodrigo we now need to do. 25k pack, as usual, provides us with nothing. Nothing that you would expect anyway. Um, so we'll send that to there. These guys can go up here. And so we have two more packs to do. A Prime World Players pack and then a 50k pack. Either ways, it's been very good. An 88 rated. We've got half of Rodrigo done just by doing League FPC grind. So I can't complain too much. As the next 45k is much more, much more like it with the 45k. So that's what we expect. So we'll send that to club there. And then it's going to be a 50k pack to end off these packs. And I'm going to head over to look at Isak and see what we've got to do to get him done. 50k pack, doesn't even provide, provide us with a board. Absolutely shocking for me, yeah, that, that is shocking. Um, but half of Rodrigo done, it's not bad at all. And Isak, we've got to find a way to get him and get him in the team. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, I got started on doing Tots Isak. I've uh, got the two assist goals. Uh, that's what I was focusing on. Um, and obviously four. Score 15 goals in that league. It's all, good, all that sort of stuff. Uh, score 11 separate matches. Didn't get any wins, but it's fine. However... We didn't have the power cut. So for the last few hours, we've been waiting for the power to come back on. Um, so I'm not going to complete any more of Isak, but he will get done probably first thing tomorrow morning um, to use him for weekend league. Now I'm hoping that the pain and problems I'm having with my health at the moment are settled a little bit so I can stream some of the weekend league games with you guys either today, um, this morning, or in the evening. I, I, ideally, at some point, to be able to do it. 
It might not happen, but Sunday definitely will, will happen. I'll make sure it does. So we've got two of the, two of the bits of ESAC started. It's a bit frustrating. Um, but we are going to go ahead now and complete the Rare Mega Pack as well for doing the La Liga Top Challenge. Um, I had to buy the centre-back from Uni Atletico Bilbao. So we bought that to get a Rare Mega Pack for it. We've also got 75 rated Rare Player Pack for the... Um, there's a dog bark in the background. Um, for the season objectives. So it is what it is. So we'll do the 75 plus rated rare player and then we'll do the rare mega pack and see what we get from that. Um, but we will get ESAC done ASAP. Um, there's no reason not to. It's going to be hard to link a, a La Liga Santander Swedish player. We'll try and find a way to do it, but either way, it's, it's too good a card not to do. I think, I, in my opinion, it's probably the best objective card we've ever had. Uh, a five-star weak foot striker of that quality. It's brilliant content for me. It really, really is. The 55k pack does have a walkout in it. It is just a standard walkout though. It's going to be German, and it's going to be Cam. It's going to be Thomas Müller, which is fine. We need to do the 84-rated squad now for Rodrigo, the left wing, so we can use him. Um, Müller can be used for that, which is perfectly fine. It would be nice to pack of tots. I really want a La Liga tots. Uh, so good in that pack as well. It's a very, very nice pack, that. Really, really nice pack indeed. Um, anything else in there? Two Hunters as well. That's sort of the perfect pack, realistically, for a sort of brand new account like mine. It's stacking it up with like, little bits and bobs in it, contracts and all that sort of stuff. So like I say, plan for me, Isak will get done. We're five and two on champs at the moment as well, which is very, very good. Or four and two on champs, actually. Four and two on champs, which I'm really happy with at the moment. Isak will get done. We'll sell Owen and we'll find a way to maybe improve the team in other ways there. He may have to pay off Kem Isak, but that's okay. I'm not too stressed about that. But that's the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.